Greetings, hello and welcome back to Summer Battle Tech. Um, we have a mission on Panzer, uh, Panzer, which is called Wolves, a base defense mission. So, um, yeah, we we have to defend the base. There's a lot of text here to say, just defend the base. Uh, I opted to go for max salvage on this one, which is 4 and 18. Only 61,000, let's hope it's worth it. One and a half skulls. Command oh, that's a good start. Initiated. Enemy contact right away. Commander, our contracted mission is to defend this is a factory. We have scattered reports of incoming pirate units. These would be the wolves our employer referred to. All we have to do is hold them off until our employer's force relieves us. Good luck. On this outing, we have some additional support from our employer. They have point defenses set ar around the base. They are, however, offline. We have a friendly convoy of engineers who are eager to get at these defenses and get them firing. Let's put them safely to the generators and we can boost our defensive capabilities. Oh, and it's a punter. And we immediately can start. But. Okay, sure. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna defend that one. That's a fair start to the mission. Okay, so we have this APC to defend. There's one more unit, a vehicle at two probably, who's gonna take action. And we are all around this facility here. Okay, let's see. Orders? Decker standing in the center. Um, by the way, I did a, a change here. I put myself in the to the Centurion um, because BMOF now has breaching shot, and so I wanted to have her in a in a mech that has like a main weapon like the AC10 here, so she can hopefully breach some stuff. Anyway, um, ready for orders. Forty-five percent, huh? Question why? Well, because he's not in range. Okay, I, no, I'll take it. You know what? Let's start with Decker, Commander, who's in a weird and terrible position here. I copy. And won't be able to do much. But maybe, just maybe, he can sensor lock the Panther. No, his sensor lock. That's his sensor range. Okay, I guess he can just brace. That doesn't really help. This guy, I guess I can sprint or jump. Not really a forest tile, and I need to get in there. Like, this vehicle is gonna be toast. I'm sprinting one. Like, I, I get further with jumping. So let's do that. Receiving you. So, if we were to go there, that's 55. Can we get any closer and maybe better shots with the jump? 45. That's not a better shot, I would say. I would probably want a direct shot. Um, 55. And that, that is the case. Uh, no, let's not jump. Let's walk. Let's be honest here, yeah. I mean, it's just the light mech, a panther. Also, I feel like I had some radar blips here. That's not gonna impress him much. Aye, aye. Where is it? 
took one to the head. I mean, maybe he rethinks his aggressive actions. Okay, at least the APC is coming in a little bit here. That doesn't seem like the safest route. Why doesn't he... Am, am I in the way there? Yes, Commander. Going full throttle. I don't like Neck warriors. Show them what you've got. I don't like hearing hearing sensor clips blips where I can't really say where they're coming from. Don't go for the NPC. Okay, he didn't. That's a lot of evasion though. Yes, Commander. shots hmm. probably gonna take a bunch of 45s here yeah I'm, I'm thinking I'm going for the shots rather than the sensor lock just need to watch my heat and Shield of the SM5 4. Mm. You know what? Let's half as this. Locked on. I feel like I, I wanna shoot these missiles here first. Now, there's, there's one thing I, I learned, a uh, new thing that I learned here. Um, you see these chevrons to the side of the mech. These kind of tell you if you move somewhere, if your weapons will be in good range for that. I think like this golden color is it's an optimal range and then there's like when it's white it's still in range but not really optimal something like that so what i'm seeing here is we won't get better than 60 percent and i, I don't know what's coming on the other side there it's also light mech probably Let's make him pay for destroying that little APC there. I'm just gonna hit hit all of it. Oh, fire target. all of it. Let's see how much we actually Ooh, there goes your side torso. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. So you got a head hit, side torso destruction and a knockdown. That's three wounds. He's out. He's not coming back. I, I guess I was in the way. So now he's coming up the road here. Oh, are you in range to trigger whatever you want to trigger? I don't know. Commander. Yeah, great. And now I can't move past this thing. Um, great.
Kommando. Almost killed the thing. Good to go. Acknowledged. Okay, let's take a look over here. Hello, little guy. Now, I really don't want to do all, uh, get all the seats. So let's just something like this. Commander. Twenty percent. Okay, let's move somewhere where we have a direct shot instead of an ind indirect. Because I still don't have the indirect fire. Acknowledged. Penalty reduction, or at least not as much as I would like to have. Got it. Okay, that looked pretty good. Now, what about this APC over there? Or oh, whatever that is. I'm just gonna go in here. Let's see what we can do. Mm. Hang on, that vehicle is in this phase, right? So why don't we reserve at this point? Standing by. NPCs what's gonna support you, our turrets are intact. And they keep firing. Okay, so we managed to win that without even by losing this truck there. Uh, okay. Waiting for orders. Well, 95 and 80. Firing a full salvo. Might be some good salvage there. Yeah, that's a locust. Okay, <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> Screw this, I'm out. No, it's a striker. I mean, these shots are not bad. Let's make sure he doesn't get away. No, strikers kind of... Hmm. I want to say you have a lot of armor, but it's actually not a lot, but it's still annoyingly much, depending on how we spread the damage here, I guess. What's this, anyway? Against, yeah, we're not getting in range there for that. Engaging target. Okay, that actually worked. Enemy unit destroyed. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Ooh. Flanking maneuver, huh? Hostile on sensors. Okay. Whoa, how many are there? Another one. Now they all moved in four, so all light max. The only thing I'm still wondering, uh, so the destroy the enemy vanguard objective point is not completed yet, and this is in this area, so there might be something still left out here. Receiving so I'm wondering you. if I'll just go for a little bit of scouting here with Decker. Just in this Roger general that. area. That's an unknown vehicle. But that's it. That looks makes sense. We'll make 
uh, mean four units here. Um, so let's see what that is. Sensors locked on. You're not gonna tell me. Another striker. <clears throat> But I kind of think he should be able to handle that on his own. So I'm gonna get myself back into the other side to deal with the other mechs. Full throttle. Like, we don't have to do this, but bonus objectives give extra cash. Then again, we're not getting really much cash out of this one. And honestly, with all these, like, six light mechs, I'm really... Um, regretting going for this option, for the salvage option. Should have gone for the full money on this one. Um, let's reserve Gonzo because we don't have line of sight on anything. Uh, I mean, I could check Order. if he can hit the striker. He actually could. Not, not from his current spot. Like, okay, I need. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? On the move. Let's blow us all south in that direction. Still running around here. That's how we get some ice. Of course. Was that a commando? That's a commando, yeah. And that striker is not moving at all. Receiving you. Alright, so let's see. What we want to do confirmed. here. Large laser and mm, oh, the M lasers can't go on to B. Okay, never mind. We skip the M lasers and put that one on B. That way, we get the breaching shot effect so we ignore their guarded 50% damage reduction thing. So, if we hit against the light mag, that should hurt. Splitting fire. Yep, that's what I mean when I say it hurts. Reporting critical hit. Oh, the locus also fell down. Oh, that's just too good. That's another locust. See, okay. He's guarded and entrenched. A whole lot of good that's gonna do for him. Standing by. That. All right, let's have a look here. If we can get rid of this thing. Don't care about heat. Locked on target. Almost looks like it's kind of stuck there in the terrain or something like that. I guess I should have taken this shot first.
good to go. Let's strike the striker. Firing oh, yeah. full complement on it. Yep, that's reporting. Means that Enemy objective vehicle is complete. Eliminated. Now, can we get anything done on this side? Probably not this turn. Yeah. Keep dashing. You guys are too slow. Slide. Ready for orders. It looks like I have line of sight on pretty much all of them except for that little commando. So we're just gonna stay stationary. Multi target the low cost. The other low cost, and then this guy. Something like this. Get a breaching shot against those two. Should probably kill this guy. Roger that. Mm hmm. He's like, ah, I, I can take that Jägermik. Failed to connect. No, no, you can't. Like, guys, just, just turn around and run. Did not like that. Reporting minimal damage. that it mean my long range missile turret okay oh uh, yes multi targeting okay that's great that's good work locust waiting for orders spread your extensive fire power to as many targets as possible okay talk about extensive firepower Hello, Commander. Ready for orders. Uh, okay, Decker, you can just try to dash back to base. Got it. I don't think you're gonna do much in this uh, mission anymore. Unless we have more reinforcement. <laughs> like, the mission difficulty, that's so swingy, I feel. Standing by. Again, I guess it was one and a half skills, so maybe I shouldn't expect it to be super hard, but yeah. Anyway. Spread some love. Copy that. Didn't really check the percentages. This should be nice. Target neutralized. Okay, he's knocked down, and I guess that means pilot is out. Or was it center to be destroyed? I don't even know. Good to go. Okay, two targets. Oh, I don't have land aside to the to the other one. Okay.
Location confirmed. Acknowledged. I like this AC ten. AC ten. Yeah, that's that. Oh, a commando actually still gets an action. I mean, I, I give him that. That was always almost mean. And you know what? I think as a, I should probably just do something precision shot. Oh, I guess he doesn't have any weapons anymore, so that's why he he knocked on that guy. I'll see if I can take down the leg and just f let him fall down and kill the pilot this way. Maybe not this excessive. Eh, you know, that's one of them at least. Engaging target. Nope. That works too. Well done, you managed to wipe the opfer out. I can do an extract right now, no need to get to our planned landing zone. Mission successful. Okay, yeah. 20% more base pay. Yeah, 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 it was like 7,000 credits. Uh, I, I'll, I'll take it. But I don't think anyone... Did anyone actually fire at us at all? I'm not sure. So, do we want anything here? I guess we take the full panther. And then let's have a look at the equipment. Nothing... Nothing fancy. Um, yeah, this makes a complete locust. I mean, technically, 7 million of salvage. I shouldn't complain too much, but that was... I guess we got some experience points. That's that's always worth it, right? Any mission you can walk away from with everybody, that's a good mission. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. That mech is ready to fight you. That mech you wanted is back online. I guess we got three mechs out of this one. Um, but honestly... Before they start costing us money, let's just send them to storage. Okay, so far so good. I think we'll just do immediately the next contract. Or maybe... I think this guy here no still 500 XP missing. Ready for orders. I could and I probably should go for some additional skills here. I'm just wondering if I wanna get a bit more guts. Or maybe get some tactics going here. Yes, Commander. Up. I think Gonzo should get some tech. Oh, 100 XP. This is not my day. Waiting for orders. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna go for the next mission. I think there was one more mission on this planet. Raiding party here. Inward dropship to the Directorate. Lands of Max. 
one and a half skulls, so might be super easy again. Um, so no, I, I'm not expecting any... Let's just say it this way. Salvage-wise, what I'm most interested in right now is heavy max, right? Anything else is just bonus. And with one and a half skulls, I'm not expecting any heavies. So why don't we get some reputation here? Just go full out reputation, 14 reputation points. Reputation makes prices lower in the region, and I think you also get more missions. I don't actually know what, what the effects are, but let's find out. We're here to learn, right? Same party. I mean, if we can walk away without any damage and 1.2 thousand experience, I'm fine with that. Command interface initiated. Enemy dropship levels in this area. My location engaged. Let's put a stop to the rate. Sounds good. Commander. Okay, at some point I need to figure out um, what determines the position and make sure that Decca gets like the front spot where the Shadowhawk is right now. On the move. No radar blips. Okay. Receiving you. I copy. And now we get someone, okay. Hmm. Not a huge fan of that terrain here, like in general. A rock terrain. Everybody Hot damn, let's do this. <laughs> I got a sensor trace. Re remember when I said there are probably not gonna be any heavies? Yeah, that that, that Mac we just spotted there. Initiative turn two. Let's wait until it moved and see what we get. Gonna be Deeply disappointed if that's something I, I want to salvage. What's up, boss? And again, like I'm, I'm already distributing salvage here. Yeah, I should probably try to kill it first, huh? I copy. Got for us here. Yeah. And Ryan, ooh, kind of nice. Mm, that's not go crazy on the heat just yet. Affirmative. Damage. That's the only downside here right now. Good to go. Let's see. Can I get in range? Yeah, with the jump, I can. 
Engaging jump jets. Okay. Let's go all out. Screw the heat. Engaging target. Oh, I hit it. His unsteady threshold is higher, Standing by. so it's probably a bit of an, I want to say, advanced pilot or something. Move order received. Again, he has that thing where my shots do half damage. So if I only fire one weapon, I get breaching shots, and I do full damage if I hit. On it. But that's a light because he's. That's a light. What kind of lands are you in there, guys? And is it just the two of them? I haven't spotted anything else so far, right? Ready for orders. Okay, let's try to not give the locust orb back. I just want to keep pounding the Orion there. This turn with all the lasers. Don't think precision shot makes any sense just yet because it's really not damaged any part. Uh, also, when I think about it, if I can swing it in some way to get him to just um, oh, die, like the pilot. By. That would be nice salvage, and again, I didn't take the good salvage options because reasons. Let's shoot the five at the locust to strip some evasive from him. Roger that. And again, I'm probably not gonna attack him anyway. Because this gentleman here I have current shots. I think I'm just gonna stationary um stay stationary, get bulwark and go follow him. So at this point, although I will use precision strike. to kick him back in the initiative order so that BMOF will act before he can. And you know what? Like the most damaged parts are probably like the side torso and the center torso. Let's try to go for the right side. Engaging target. And a knockdown. Fantastic. What's up, boss? So, we're just gonna probably stage right here. And try to go for the same side torso. The locust can have a sway with us. I don't really care all that much. Engaging with target. Okay, at this point, um, that's the third wound he has taken. 
One for a head hit, one for a knockdown, one for... The torso destruction. So if we can get one more wound in, he might be done for. What are you doing? So how you look? Oh, the center torso is super hurt. So maybe if I try to attack him from the left side? I could do the trick here. I copy. How are you looking now? Didn't change too much. Okay. Looks like I can't reach the right side. This could get me on the side. He will be a, a bit of an issue, but let's try to turn this into an, at least a salvage mission, even if we don't get that much salvage. But yeah, okay, let's not fire that laser. Engaging target. Another head hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Another torso hit? Shouldn't that be another injury? What? Receiving you. No, the torso is destroyed, right? The problem is, can't do another precision shot, <laughs> and he can't do like. What are you gonna do? Spit at me? Because I think I'm, I'm actually just gonna shoot everything at this guy. Let's just jump. 50s. So he might just attack, uh, kick me here with the griffin. And, and like, it's still on Ryan, I think. What is it? 70? So pretty sure 70. Could be 75. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Initiative, so he has like whatever that skill is that reduces initiative. Order. And he's fully steady again, so knocking him over will be kind of hard. Um, hmm. oh, I don't have land side, okay, I guess. Let's move like here. Moving to position. Good old AB shot. I copy. Thank you. 
Didn't do too much. I guess the locust was actually destroyed. I knew that. Um, now what? Thing is, I don't have any targeted shots, so I'm just gonna just gonna fire at him. Probably just gonna destroy his center torso. It was a nice try, but I'm not gonna risk here uh, get him getting another kick in or something like that. Engaging target. Oh, it's on now. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission success. That was weird. Quote of the day, Ooh, it's a one and a half skull mission, we're not gonna encounter any, any heavy mechs. What do I know about this game? Apparently nothing. Um, okay, I guess <laughs> at least we got the right items for salvage here. Yeah. 75 ton. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I would have been slightly miffed if <laughs> the game would have given me the two SMs. Oh, the new story mission is available. So, first things first, let's go to my quarters and the reputation bar. So we are now, we now have allied reputation. 15% bonus payment, 10% discount in shops. That's worth something, I guess. Liberation Smith on 20 day travel time. Loadout featuring indirect fire capabilities and at least a moderate level of mobility. Hmm. This is in Weldry. They both are in Weldry. Two and a half skulls. Thing is, these these story missions they always have a really nice, um, and it's not max pay and max salvage. No, it, this is the pay, this is the salvage. It's like they pay off really well. Okay, so two things before we leave here. First of all. We're no longer a hundred XP away from getting the next levels. I think we can, we could get breaching shot here. The thing is, let's be honest here: the Jäger Mac is the only Mac currently where breaching shot makes a whole lot of sense because I can have the AC10 fire as a, at a single target and and breach that. The all the other mechs don't really have a primary weapon, which because you can only fire a single weapon to get the breaching shot effect, right? Right. Okay. So that being said, why don't we just immediately turn around and use our XP for something else? Commander. Overheat thresholds. You know what? I'm gonna go guts here. Training confirmed, Commander. This doesn't do anything just yet. Um, Receiving you. Decker, I wanna tactics up, I think. Cold shot bonus. I'm intrigued. 
Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Gonzo. I oh, yes, the basic indirect fire penalty. Same thing here, like, um, I don't need breaching shot on an LIM mech yet. Receiving you. Commander. Commander. What's this one again? Oh, yeah, that was what the, the Orion just had. Go for more tactics to get that's like further indirect fire penalty reduction in the tactics tree. So maybe I can let's go for that. And this guy. So get unsteady threshold plus one max evasion. Thing is, in a slowish mech, you your cap basically that that doesn't do anything. Max evasion because you never reach max. Yeah, you know what? Overheat threshold. Training confirmed, Commander. Sounds good. Okay, what else? Um, if I'm not mistaken, well, we are refitting the Shadowhawk. Honestly, there's not much else to do right now. That's actually not super true. Um, if we take our LRM Shadowhawk into the refit, I, didn't I buy some better LRMs at some point? I'm 15 LM10 with stability damage. Okay, if we scrap that. That could work. I could also, uh, how much is that? Two tons. Yeah, I'm not sure I can, I can scratch out two tons of armor or anything here. I'm tempted to um, get one ton of armor off in order to get some more ammo because we all remember that mission where the ammo ran out, and we know what happened then. Also, um, scrap the jump jets and then get the LM5 back in. But I, well, I'm, I'm always saying like the missile boat doesn't need the jump capability. I feel like I've, I've used it to good effect so far. So having that option is not bad. Additional LM5 with even more stability damage is also not bad. You know, that's screw jumping. I like how, how quickly I can change my mind here. So and then we need to get half a ton. That's eight clicks, I think. Either half a ton up or even more ammo. Okay, we're now at 360. And uh, 
30 per turn, so 12 turns. No, I think I'd rather take more, even more ammo. So, how long for all of that? Seven days, okay. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Alternatively, I could have seen if I can refit the Centurion for LMs and use the Shadowhawk for SMs. Or a new SM Shadowhawk. It's fine. Let's, let's just keep it like this. Get ourselves a catapult or something then for LMs. And then... <sighs> We're gonna refit everything. Okay, so... Long story short, we're gonna travel to Smithen. You know, I'm, I'm gonna put the travel into this episode so we can see some events or something happening, and then next mission is gonna be Smithers, uh, Smithen. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. They did say mobility and indirect fire. Good thing I got rid of the um, jump jets. Power surge in the mech bay. While inspecting the uh, Shadowhawk SRM, an intense power surge ripples through the cavernous mech bay. From the top of a gentry ladder above you, young hollows at his mech tags as repair tools spark wildly. Cables and lift spasm in a barrel of something oily looking inexplicably combusts. Scanning for a way to help, you find a master control panel, a massive emergency shut off breaker beckons, as well as numerous individual power switches. Something labeled Automated Safety System blinks fitfully. Pull the emergency shut off, guess which individual system to shut down, or since we have the Argo Mac Bay automation, prod the safety system into action. I guess since that's a special option, it's only available because we have this. Let's hope this is the best result. No lasting consequences. The bang of your balled up fist on the control panel. The blinking light strobes urgently, then settles into a solid, reassuring glow. Immediately, numerous safety systems spring into action between the automated systems and the coordinated efforts of the young's mech techs. The threatening disaster is averted. With a widening grin on his face, Yang calls it down to you. That's how we handle things here, boss. If only the term automated would mean always on, I'd be a lot happier. He thinks for a moment, you know. There were improvements to automation in the Argo we could pursue, if we had the sea builds. Well, at the time. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay, yeah, we have actually nothing in the mech bay right now. And, you know, I'm okay with that. Feels a bit like a waste. Uh, let's give Yang a few days off. Okay, so we arrived in Smithen, I guess. Those upgrades you I... asked for are online, Commander. You know what I still wanted to do? I wanted to check the store in Panzer before we leave. Okay. I can't stand this anymore, Zumiri says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. It makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours, to be precise. Dr. Murat's tone is infuriatingly reasonable. And only while the Argo is under thrust. Samira flashes you an exasperated look. Why can't we get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the shaking stops. Right on schedule. Well, it could be worse. Could be every 33 minutes. Tell everyone to live with it. Ask Dr. Murat to try again to fix it. Or if we had structural reinforcement, we could recalibrate the rotation controllers. Well, can we fix it? 
Will you say something, Commander? This is all within the Argo's designed tolerances. We're looking at a minor fault in the habitat port rotation system that causes it to attempt the rotation every so often, even when the pods are folded for travel, as they are now. It can't rotate them because of mechanical safeties. Think of it like a muscle twitch in your leg when you're lying in bed. That definitely makes me feel better about this, Dr. Mratzmerk. So there's nothing for me to fix. Inspect the safeties for... Um, I inspect the safeties for stress and wear every time we break orbit, since so as this issue is, the Argo was designed to handle it. Well, but apparently, if we do some upgrades, we can handle it. So that was if we had the structural reinforcements, huh? Which takes a long time, but is really cheap. How much was this again? That's just 90,000. So, um... 10,000 experience is actually quite a lot. So, I think... Uh, at least Medusa is not above 10,000 just yet. So, how... Yeah, let's just get this. I don't see anything urgent. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. And I think once we have this, we're gonna hire the best pilot we can find. Not sure if we can find anyone right now. Unity. MRB rating to know. Shell shock with bulwark. Oh. Maybe someone like Sasquatch here. I don't want to hire someone with like twos across the board. That's good average here. But again, let's let's wait ten days until the, the thing is complete. Um, and definitely until the next financial report is over. Smithen. We arrived at Smithen. Ready to proceed with the current contract? Well, not yet, but that's gonna be in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'm